Welcome to this video. My name is Philip Ekberg, and today we're going to be talking about top level programs in C Sharp 9. Are you new to C Sharp? If you are, it might be bothering you that there's no simple way of running a few lines of C Sharp code without all the boilerplate code in program.cs. If you are a seasoned C Sharp developer, you've probably already experimented with programs such as LinkPad, which allows you to achieve exactly what we're going to look at in this video. Being able to experiment with APIs or write small algorithms to test a theory is truly handy. With C Sharp 9, Microsoft is introducing something called top-level programs. Let's give this new feature a try. To run this locally, we've got two options. We can install Visual Studio 2019 Preview together with .NET 5, or we can head over to sharplab.io, where we can run the code right out of the browser. Let's use sharplab for now to make sure that we are looking at the same things. This will allow us to explore the decompiled code, which means that we can look at what's generated under the hoods. The first thing that we'll do is to remove all of the pre-added code in this program. We're also going to make sure that we're pointing this to the master branch and you're probably wondering what this means. Putting this to the master branch on GitHub, where this repository lives, means that we are using the C Sharp compiler that's the latest version. Using the latest version means that we can try out these new C Sharp 9 features and other new language features that are added as well. If we now add system.console.writeline hello world to the editor on the left, you can see that this will now print hello world. This is without any of the public static void main stuff that we normally see when we are building C Sharp apps. This is truly really awesome. It makes it easier for us to explore the language. Your imagination is only the limitation of what you can do at this point. To illustrate that, we can add a using statement for system instead of writing system.console. We could also use the language feature that allows us to use all and include all the static members by adding using static system.console to the top. This means that the code can now be simplified to write line hello world. You're probably wondering at this point what this looks like under the hoods. If we change the right pane to decompile the source code, we can see that it generated all the code that we normally see in the entry point of an application. This is truly interesting and really beneficial for new as well as experienced developers. Let's add a class to the top level program to see what happens. I'm going to introduce a class called person with a property called name. Keep an eye on the right pane and you'll see that it's now changing. We could even create an instance of this class and print the name of a newly created person. Are you wondering what the benefit of this is? This is great for beginners who want to explore C Sharp without a lot of fuss and cluttered code. It's also great for experienced developers that want to explore APIs or try a few of these different language features. You can try things like the switch expressions or other new language features in C Sharp 6, 7, 8, and 9. You can even use async and await in this top level program. I'd love to hear in the comments if this is something that you'd consider using. Is this a language feature that you've been wanting, or do you think C Sharp has enough features as it is? If you like this video, please do leave a like or a comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. 
Thanks for watching this video. My name is Philip Ekberg, and today we've been looking at top level programs in C Sharp 9. I'll see you in the next video.